How's everybody doing today? It is November 16th, 2020, and this is going to be a quick video showing you that the state that I live in, in Michigan, is maybe, most possibly, the most draconian state in the United States. Our governor could not be more off her rocker and more just so obvious of how bad they are going to cut down everything that we still think we have a right to do. And that's right, I said think, because if people do not see that we are weeks away, not months, not years, but weeks away from being in a world that you never, ever thought you could be in. This isn't about fear, this isn't about panic, but I do want you to understand how serious I am when I read this article to you. We are going to lose so much. As of today, we are now shutting back down everything. All of our businesses, all of our restaurants, if you can work at home, any job that you are, if there's a possibility that you can work at home, now you must do that. So my sister that has completely busted her butt trying to get back going for her family, same thing as my brother-in-law. They have done everything they can to get back going. And now what? Oh, that's right. Real estate is shutting back down. His job is shutting back down. This is not going to go good. People, we are at a point where if we don't stand up today, I truly do not know if we'll ever be able to fight back. And I honestly, I don't know the answer, but I am, I'm, I'm imploring you and begging people to try to figure a way where we can come together. Because if we don't come together now for our families, for our children, they are coming after them. Listen, let me read this article to you, but real quick, I want to tell you, they closed down the high schools. High schools all closed down, but they decide to keep up all elementary schools, all secondary schools, except for the high school. Okay, so you're telling me that it's safe for the little kids to go, but it's not safe for the older children to go, okay, the young adults. And their, their reasoning on this was that the older kids have more contact. How does that make any sense? Does that make any sense to you that the high school kids have more contact with each other? Do have, have they not heard how every single, what are you always telling your children? Keep your hands and feet to yourself, right? They're always touching everybody, everything. They've always been known to spread all of the flu viruses and everything else, right? Oh, but not in this case, right? People, you gotta wake up. If your kids are still in school, get them out now. If there's any way that you can get them out, get them out now. Because there's a reason that they want these kids still in there. There's a reason reason that they want the younger ones still in there. Maybe it's because they're the ones that won't fight back against who knows what they're doing to them there, right? We have no idea what they're going to do to these children in the schools. Sorry, I'm a little worked up this morning. It's early into, uh, I got this news last night and I wanted to make this video, but let me read this. It says, Michigan to impose a three-week partial lockdown to fight virus. Yeah, do you remember a two-week partial lockdown? Remember? That was what happened all the way back in March. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, it's going to be a 14-day shutdown. Don't worry. As long as you do this and you listen and obey and follow our rules, you will be okay. We will reopen. But look at how they've set this up, right? This is from last night because it went off last night about 6 p.m. She was on the news. Just It was just pathetic. I, it took everything I could not to scream. Um, but look at this, you know, we're at a precipice, she says, Governor Gretchen Whitmer says. Look at, look right here, though. Check this out. Rules likely to be met by opposition from conservative groups. They're already telling you that we're not going to listen. They're already putting it in the headlines that it's not going to work, right? So then in three weeks, I can guarantee you these will be the headlines. Well, the people who wanted their rights, the conservatives, refused to wear masks. They refused to stay home. They refused to give up their lives. They wouldn't stop working. They didn't do what we told them to do. They didn't obey everything that we told them. And now guess what? The lockdown must continue. And not only continue, they're going to make it a higher and higher stage thing. Remember how I'm always talking about how this is a never a, they don't throw it all at you at once, but they do it in tiers or stages. Oh, guess what this is? This is a three-stage lockdown. Check it out. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer ordered a three-week partial shutdown on Sunday, closing in-person dining at restaurants, limiting gatherings, and requiring online learning for high schools. Says the situation has never been more dire, the Democratic governor said. We are at a precipice and we need to take some action. Yeah, let's take some action, right? We need to take action. And I'm talking to you, me, all of our families, all of our loved ones. 
Every person that believes in God, every person that believes in heaven or your own rights, believes in being able to live a life that you are supposed to be able to live with your freedoms and being able to actually do what you want to do. We truly are not living free anymore. And if you don't see this, you have to see it today. The directive, one of several similar orders imposed across the U.S. as the virus surges to new highs, starts Wednesday. It says, with Thanksgiving less than two weeks away, she urged Michiganders to make the difficult and right choice not to celebrate in large family gatherings. You notice how they're taking everything away, anything that... Anything that has to do with God or anything that has to do with like contact, like where you, you know, we need contact just as people. You need to be able to hug, to touch, to talk to, to comfort. What they've taken out is all of that. You're not allowed to get within what, six feet of each other. They don't want nobody around each other. They want you isolated, listening to just them, obeying their rules. They don't want people getting together because they know. The more people that get together, the more the truth comes out. That's why they're trying to shut me up. That's why they're trying to shut up all these other channels. Because the more we come together, the more obvious that what we're going through is a complete and utter lunacy. I mean, you just can't even... This is so insane that anybody would even believe this anymore. How can people believe it? I don't understand. It says, as hard as it is not seeing them this Thanksgiving, imagine how much harder it would be if you couldn't see them for a future holiday ever again. I'm going to tell you right there that you need to realize this was put in there. This is how they do it. This is how I'm always showing you all the stuff that pops out at me. They're telling you right here. This is never going to be the same. You will never look at this. I mean, you, you need to understand this. The health order imposes restrictions on gathering of all kinds, prohibiting dine-in services at restaurants and bars and shutting down entertainment venues, stadiums, bowling alleys, theaters, and group fitness classes. Really? Because these are all the places, right, that are such a problem. These are all the places that are really causing this so-called virus to spread. People, please open your eyes. <laughs> libraries, gyms, and masks. It says stores, libraries, and muse museums aren't shut under the order, but they must limit capacity to 30% total occupancy and must monitor entry and exits. Did you catch this? must monitor entry and exits, which means they are going to be recording you coming in and out. They want to know your name, address, phone number, etc., etc., where you've been, what you've done. You have now entered into the contact tracing, the tracking and complete and utter control of your lives. We are there. Do you really think that these restaurants are going to be able to do this? All of these local restaurants up here barely survived. They opened up. They did outdoor patios. They built, you know, they, they've changed everything in the restaurants, cut down staff, done everything just to try to get through. And what did it do? Nothing. Now they're still going to go under. These restaurants will never make it through here. Never. It says, uh, pools and gyms are limited at 25% capacity and there must be 12 feet between each workout machine. I mean, this is just, we live, big brother's taken over. And if you thought you, you had it bad before, it's coming. And this will be in everybody's state. And this will be worldwide. Please, people, understand that this is not a United States thing. The more and more that you have people talking about, like my own grandmother, that it's in, I, I've talked about her before. I love her with my entire heart. She never trusted the government before. And now she believes everything is going on. They have her so scared, no matter how much I've been talking to her for almost a year now about this, it doesn't matter. She is so convinced that this is so bad in that it's all our fault. Her literal words were, if you all would have just wore your mask, none of this would have happened. Now let's see how you're locked down, how you like being locked down now. Yeah. My grandma hated the government. Like this is how insane and how strong the deception is, Okay. It says, the restriction limits social gathering indoors to 10 people from no more than two households and outdoor gatherings to 25 or fewer people from more than three households. It says, the order also requires online education for most high schools and college students. Oh, but it's safe for the young ones to go to school, right? That's what I was talking about. Pathetic. It says, regardless of the gathering, all attendees must wear masks under the order indoors and outdoors. Now they want you wearing a mask indoors as well. It says, despite being one of the state's hardest hit by CV19 this spring, Michigan has far surpassed its case records over the last month. As hospitals have warned, they will start scaling back 
elective procedures to preserve staff to be able to fight the virus. Health officials on Saturday reported a record-breaking 8,376 new cases. Cases, 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 blah, blah, blah. I'm so sick of hearing cases. Do you want to know how many infections there are for the flu? I told you about it. 30 million cases a year. 30 million cases. So when they're talking about, oh, we have a million cases or 10 million cases over this massive amount of time, stop falling for it. Okay? And now you hear them saying they're going to be scaling back elective procedures? Oh, that's right. So if you needed something done, something, whatever it was, maybe it wasn't a new heart transplant or something that bad, but if it was something serious to you, nope, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, you got a broken hip? Oh, too bad. You can't get that done. That's not serious enough. It says the new restrictions are likely to be met with hostility and litigation. See, here we go. They're already telling us how it's not going to work. They feed you the information. It says the new orders amount to a, def a defiant middle finger to our movement of in the half a million plus patriots who signed the petition to pull the plug on her illegal emergency orders. Unlock Michigan and conservative group opposing Whitmer's health orders said in a statement. Do you see this? Back and forth. They're dividing us, everybody. This is what I've been talking about. This is all the beginning of the mandatory vax, okay? You have to see this. They're dividing everybody so strong. They're going to make this sound like it is the literally the end of the world and the only way to fix this is the vax. And what are they going to do? They want you and your neighbor turned against each other so that your neighbor will make a phone call and tell them, hey, he's not listening. Hey, Eric's over there. He's not wearing a mask. He says he won't get the vax. So they can come and find you. Yes, that's coming. Will it be tomorrow? No, but it's coming. It says, Whitmer's handling of the virus became a target for President Donald Trump at a rally in Michigan in October. You got, you got to get your governor to open up the state. He told several thousand supporters. Some responded with a lock her up chant to which Trump replied, lock them all up. Do you see this? Do you, like, really? That's the end of the article. Did you catch? Look, at that's, the, that's, what they, that's what they decided to end the, end the article with, really? Hmm, Bloomberg, I think you're a little bit behind this uh, agenda of completely, you know, destroying all of us, separating all of us. People, please don't get caught up in this election. Don't get caught up in that right now. That is the distraction. That is what is keeping your attention away from what you're going to lose, which is everything that you've worked for. I'm going to leave this here. Please, please continue to pray against all of this and do not give up, okay? There is no fear. There is no panic. And I hope you can hear it in my voice. I just want you to know how serious this is. But I want you to also know that as long as you have God and you have that faith and you have that support system and you have your family, you know, behind you, you have nothing to worry about. Because in this world or the next, I promise you, these people that are doing this will be judged. They will pay for what they're doing. Always know that God has a plan. We may not ever think that it's going exactly the way that we thought or the way that we wanted, but I promise you, it will work out for us. We will win in this world or the next. Remember that, okay? In the end, Jesus wins. I love you all. Continue to pray. We'll talk to you all real soon. God bless.